This is the Olympus Pen Mini, the smallest in the company's pen series of Micro Four Thirds mirrorless interchangeable lens cameras. Today we'll have a look at a couple of the features of this latest model. Aimed mainly at a point and shoot audience, the camera features much simpler controls than we've previously seen and retains the company's collapsible kit zoom lens. To keep the size down, Olympus has opted for a clip-on external flash. This plugs into the accessory port at the back of the camera. This port can also be used to attach one of the two optional electronic viewfinders that the company sells. Here we can see it alongside two of its rivals, the Sony NEX5N and Nikon's new J1. The Olympus features a slightly smaller sensor than the Sony, but it's really the collapsible zoom that keeps the size of the overall package down. While it's true that they won't fit in most pockets, all of these are pretty small cameras. In keeping with its point and shoot intentions, the Pen Mini features a simplified mode menu. This makes it easy to select the auto mode, the scene modes, movie shooting mode, or, if you prefer, you can take more control over the camera's settings. The most significant change for the latest generation of pen cameras is the speed of autofocus. In good light, the Pen Mini is able to focus at least as quickly as entry-level DSLRs. And despite rapidly changing between subject distances, the camera has got all the shots in focus. Users wanting to get the most out of the camera can turn on an additional custom menu, which features a wide range of customization options spread over 10 pages labelled A to J. For instance, in the display section of the menu, it's possible to change the information available to you as you shoot pictures. It's also possible to change the user interface to engage Olympus's very good, but these days somewhat hidden, super control panel. This is an interactive control panel that allows you to adjust all of your settings from a single screen. Where the lack of buttons on the Pen Mini really begins to show is in playback mode. The left and right button zoom in and out, presenting an awkward combination of info and the four-way controller if you want to actually move around the image. Switching between images is controlled by rotating the thumb dial on the back. Oddly, the up and down buttons are devoted to changing the volume of video playback. We're not convinced this is the best possible use of such a limited number of buttons. Overall, we've enjoyed using the Pen Mini so far, and we're looking forward to taking it into our studio to conduct a full review.